Good morning, everybody. It's actually quite a well, good weekend. Had a good shooting match yesterday, doing a quick voiceover this morning. That's a Sunday morning here in South Africa. Once I'm done with this voiceover, it is uh, aquarium maintenance for me. And uh, I've got a couple of tanks to clean out, etc. Also, you might notice the sound is slightly better. I actually finally invested in a proper microphone boom. So I don't have the microphone standing on this tiny little tripod on my desk. It is now on a proper microphone boom. No, no, I'm super, super chuffed about that. Right, so what are we looking at? We are looking at a replay that my good friend Louise sent to me. Now, Louise has recently been grinding out the Russian battleship line, and he's finally got to the Kremlin. Now, obviously, the Kremlin, not a real ship, paper ship, Russian tree, but it is incredibly good. Very, very short little arms, but very good. Louise is in a division here with my other clan mate, Reichenbacher. Reichenbacher is in the Yoshino. And Louise sent me this replay for one specific reason. And he said to me, hey, Fail, you need to see the, the one hit that I did. Now, again, unfortunately, not a win. Lately, winning a game where you are making massive impact and doing massive massive amounts of damage is all but impossible i see a rune finished the game uh, featured a game today on his channel where it was a thunderer game and the team was just utter shit i mean we had a game yesterday with a izumo and the dude was a total potato and afterwards i looked at his statistics and he had a 34% win rate in the Izumo. It's his first tier 9. And he's not even at tier 10 yet. And he's spent 130 games in it. I went from tier 9 to tier 10 in my Izumo in 53 matches. With a 58% win rate. So there's an enemy Des Moines popping up for a second. Luis takes a pot shot at him. And... Unfortunately, misses. The ship is on fire. He gets hit by HE and starts burning. Now, the Kremlin has a massive, massive hit pool. I think before the Kremlin was released, the biggest hit pool was the Crosser Kurfist. Now, the Kremlin is king of the hill, if configured correctly, 108,300. The other advantage that the Kremlin can have is obviously Kuznetsov, the coal captain. Um, with the, uh, when your health dips below 10%, uh, pops a heal. And if you pop that with one of your own heals, you can heal up almost all of the ship. How's an enemy Vladivostok coming in? And there's an Albemarble sitting behind an island. Now I remember Viper absolutely hating the Albemarble. I haven't done much to the, get up to the, line. Ouch. Very nice hit, Louise. Takes half of that Alba Marbles uh, health pool there in a single Citadel. And there's an ARP Takao. I might actually feature an ARP Takao video soon. I don't really... We were sync dropping last night. I took my ARP Takao out and I actually had a relatively decent match in it. Louise damage controls the second fire because he's still, still got four repair parties left. He's behind an island and he knows by the time his repair party is ready, he'll be showing again. No need to let it burn. Louise let the fire burn earlier because he was out in the open and it's a single fire and he can heal it back up and he's not a fucking idiot. I've seen so many battleships damage control a single fire. Uh, yesterday there was... Um, we were playing... Oh... Yeah, I was playing another tier 4 for the uh, Epoch uh, Directive. And this poor battleship damage control a single fire and we put three more on him. And he absolutely was raging. So this Vladivostok is doing a bit of a stand here. 
Obviously, the smaller brother, the tier 8 brother, to Louise's uh, Kremlin. And there's that ARP to go. And the Alba Marble has healed up quite a bit more of that hit. And we're kind of looking at, like, which one of the two should I be shooting? The Alba Marble or the Vladivostok right in front of me? Now Vostok, absolutely love my Vadley Vostok as well. It's one of the tier eights I kept. There's a Ragnarok on its side. And the Ragnarok was the Warhammer 40k collaboration and it's nothing more than a tier eight Amagi. This Vladivostok Vostok is trying to ram but he realizes it's not gonna work. And Louise pulled back there a little bit. The Alba Marble has decided that getting the fuck out of Dodge is a good idea. And the ARP Takao is also sp sailing full speed. And I'm drinking coffee this early in the morning. And there's a Yamato coming in, featuring the nice Azure Lane camo. It's actually a very, very pretty camo. I have it on mine. And the Ragnarok beaches himself and is about to get spammed to death. Well, it looks like it. He's burning, and the Takao is firing every shell it has at him. Now, Louise does an interesting move here. He obviously sees a lot of HE spam coming, and instead of going outside on the open water, he decides to use the island on his left side as a bit of a shield while heading towards the Yamato. The Yamato just needs to turn a little bit more for relatively good angles and then Luis should be able to get good shots on him 6000k damage there and Reichenbacher and the guys are desperately trying to take B cap and unfortunately they lose a Hindenburg and they are 4 ships down to 2 Now Louise scores a beautiful 16,000k Citadel on the Yamato. And it is one of the small problems with the Yamato is it's got that little cheek. And if you can angle just right and you can punch him in those cheeks, you do get a nasty Citadel. It's a uh, tier 9 brother, the Masashi has the same problem. And the Yamato realizing there's a near full health Kremlin on his right side decides that also, getting out of there is probably a good thing. Now, the north side of Louise's team is pushing quite strongly as speedy death pylons from the ARP to Carl hits Louise. And he eats three torpedoes. How absolutely unfortunate. Oh, I need. The Reichenbacher finishes off that Mogami in the Shishina is waiting for that. As Louise pops repair party and a heal. Needs to heal up a little bit of that. Now every Takao player on this match was not an idiot. I think he was surviving quite quite long. Now the Yamato has done exactly what Louise has done. He's put a massive island on his one side protecting him. And Louise has decided, you know what, if nobody's gonna cap in a small cruiser because you'll notice there's no destroyers in this game and it is something that is not often but is happening more and more is games without destroyers especially at high tiers and i played my light thing yesterday i'm slowly grinding that thing up and it was a hard match i mean cvs pound on you it's just it's difficult so this Alba Marble has found himself in the open. He is under 10 kilometers, desperately trying to go dark. But he is firing as well at the lion, going down the two line. And every time he fires, he fucks up his concealment. And 
He is destroyed by the lion that he was shooting at. So with no opponents on his left side, Louise turns the turrets. And it is one of the things that CCs, etc. apparently said is broken on the Kremlin is the absolutely fast turret traverse on it. Any other turret traverse is actually good. Reichenbacher scores his uh, second kill there on the Yoshino. He takes out the Yamato. And the ARP Takar is turning out. And he's super, super lucky to get only two overpins there. Now, Louise's team has slowly tried to pull this back. They've got the advantage in caps. And it is eventually now five ships each. Or five ships down each. As a North Carolina pulls it out. Or pulls out from behind an island. Oh my god. That was 60,992 damage. <laughs> Damn. And that there is exactly why I featured this video. Louise just devastating striked a North Carolina with a 61,000 hit point salvo. That was insane. Unfortunately, the Riga takes out Reichenbacher in his Yoshino. Freddy de Gros takes out the Otago. And Louise's team is losing D cap. And he has to move out of A cap that he was trying to cap. He scores another Citadel on the Des Moines. And he's now within secondary range of Freddy de Gros. And this is usually a very bad thing. So the lion is continuing the cap of a cap. They're roughly equal on cap points, but they're now losing ships. And he finds himself sandwiched between that ARP Tikal and the Freddy de Groza. Takes 14 Ks off the Freddy. Good job, Lion. At least there's two caps to one. The Freddy obviously doesn't want to tackle a Kremlin head on. Ooh, 12,000 hit point hit there, and he destroys one of the rear turrets of the Freddy de Gros. So now the Freddy will have to be twisting and turning to get some guns into play. As uh, Louis, Louise's team loses uh, their Neptune. And they're about to lose that poor ship over there. And there's the Stalingrad and Alsage the pushing together. Oof! And Louise scores double citadels on the Stalingrad for his Confederate. And unfortunately... Louise's team's Moskva is now down as well. But Louise has done 219,000 damage so far. Unfortunately, he's now getting sandwiched between all the reds. And there is... There's not a lot he can do about this. It's unfortunately, just... There's now an Alsash meme secondary bolt on his right side. Oof, nice high caliber there, but he is going down. Louise does not have Kuznetsov on his Kremlin. And he is trying to go for the ram on the Freddy, but unfortunately the Freddy takes him out before he can get the ram. And it is now inevitable. So Louise has done a dev strike, a confederate and a high caliber in a tier 10 match in his Kremlin. And still losing. Let's not forget Reichenbacher. His uh, div mate did a fantastic job in the Yoshino. And um, 
still losing. Still, unfortunately, losing. I know this is unfortunately a trend one sees more and more in the games lately. Also, before I forget, you might have noticed I used the new intro in this video. Please let me know what you think of the new intro uh, while we watch the Kremlin sink and the Lion, no, the Baltimore. Uh, the mole of Baltimore is going to go down. The lion has decided, you know what, I'm not going to run to the corner of the map and waste everybody's time. I'm going to go in. I'm going to try and brawl a little bit. The lion, yeah, Flamukul's a trash. I actually enjoyed the lion. It wasn't that bad. It was one of the better tier 10, uh, tier 9 grinds. Well, back to the back to the intro please let me know what you thought of the new intro it's a little bit quicker than the old one um, a little bit faster hopefully hopefully you enjoy it otherwise let me know you can always revert to the old one so this poor lion is getting blasted from every every angle not wasting everybody's time and there we are end of the ma match Louise has done 227,000 damage, 9 citadels, 2 incapacitations, a kill, confederate, high caliber, and death strike. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me. Hopefully you enjoyed this replay, and uh, we'll speak soon. Take care. Cheers.